Hello everyone, this is Jonathan there from NibTech. Um, got a comment, wanted a little review, and wanted to see a little more on this computer. So I got her all hooked up now. That's a nice 21 full, 21.5 full high definition monitor LG. Hooked up through a DBI right now. Um, did come with a DBI cord, just didn't notice it in the box till later. Uh, this computer runs really, really fast actually. Got all my stuff on it here and works quick and uh, smooth. Got my desktop all set up. Got Rocket Dock down here. I don't know if you guys heard about that. It's kind of cool. Kind of gives an illusion of a Mac, except Windows is better. Um, if you don't got that, you should get it. I find it really helpful. You can put all your most uh, mostly used programs on there. Got my sidebar. This little thing here says it's a four core processor, but it's only a it's only a two. I think that's reading the treads or threads or whatever they're called. Yeah, it runs smooth. There it is down there all hooked up. You can see it. Just purring very, very quiet. You got your DVD drive there, opens fast. All your USB ports. Um, the graphics card gives an excellent picture. Um, works good. Nice thing about Windows 7 there, and I actually used it quite a bit. I'll just open up two programs there right now. Is this drag and snap? Also, when you got a lot of stuff open, the 3D is nice too. But I don't know. That's cool. A lot of nice features in Windows 7. Don't don't use them all. Uh, pretty well, you know, Windows 7 is pretty well the same as Vista. I consider it just a build off of Windows Vista. Run smooth, no problems. Everything runs very quick with the Core i5 at uh, 3.2 gigahertz and the six gigs of DDR3 memory. There, she works. She works very quick. Got iTunes all loaded up and downloaded Windows Live, Live Essentials, and that. And a lot of people said they didn't like Movie Maker in previous versions, like Windows Vista and XP, because it didn't respond a lot. I use this one there for actually my unboxing. I find it works beautiful. The one-touch upload to YouTube, Facebook, and all that, those are really, really helpful. Got my Nero Multimedia Suite 10 here all lined up. Google Earth, uh, iTunes, QuickTime. All that's pretty well down here, too. Eh, over there, got my Toshiba laptop just purring away, too. Still runs like a beauty machine. Over there, I got my old gateway. I think the hard drive quit on it, but it was pretty old too. It was about six or seven years old. Up here, got the old Acer computer. Still runs pretty good. Put XP on it. Works a lot faster than Vista did on it. There's my speakers, modem, HP printer, wireless router, speaker buttons. There, nice mouse. This is my old keyboard. Didn't use the new one because this one has got a lot more buttons on it for your your cut and paste and your calculator your all your media buttons and that everything works good on this uh, s still it's the uh, keyboard that came with the old computer still works good so anyway if you, anyone was looking for a new computer right now at a good deal I recommend the uh, gateway DX4840 from Future Shop I don't know if I can find it here I don't think it's there Future Shop, good price. Um, everything works fast on this. I find the e internet is a lot faster than on Windows XP. Uh, on our old computer, which had Windows XP, I believe this computer is still there. Oh, was that it there? Yeah, right there. That's it. Tells you all everything I got on it. I actually put a little review on there, saying it works great in that. HDMI port, don't. I used it once, it actually, it, oh, beautiful picture on it, but monitor has no built-in speaker, so I didn't bother with an HDMI cord, just DVI, which also gives you full 1080 high definition, so. Really quick, really nice features, 3D in that, oh, beautiful machine. Never had problems with Windows Vista, but Windows 7 is nice too. Anyway, thanks for watching, just a quick little little review on how it works and how this monitor looks and that. Beautiful, beautiful machine. Highly recommend it to anyone who would like one. Uh, thanks for watching.